uh, welcome to today's video and today we are going to be harvesting some information from domains or gathering emails so we'll use a tool called the harvester what is the harvester this is a tool for information gathering or data harvesting for example in cyber security or ethical hacking so the harvester is part of penetration testing distribution or tool which is normally used to actually gather information or perform reconnaissance purposes reconnaissance is actually research uh, this tool is normally found in Kali Linux, which is a popular operating system used by cyber security professionals. Uh, it's normally used for penetration testing and digital forensics and also it's used in security research. So today we are going to be using that tool and our sole purpose for the day will be email addresses. We want to find out if we can collect email addresses from certain domains we can also collect host names we can also collect subdomains from our target website or domain so this information that we will collect it is actually a critical information and which can be used for other purposes so you need to be careful with the website that you gather information from because this is a little disclaimer you need to have permission before you can collect information from any domain or website because this tool is very powerful and without proper authorization you can have legal action taken against you so be careful when using this tool so let's begin so in today's video we'll be gathering information from any website so first of all we'll log into our Kali Linux machine log into your machine then you'll open the terminal this is the terminal so from the terminal you just type in the command which is the harvester this is the tool you're going to be using the harvester then this is the usage like you can see we have hyphen hold on like you can see we have hyphen d this is where it's being directed to which domain to the domain that you are to gather the information from then you can, you can go to hyphen l this is the limit or number of search you want to perform then you also have the source you have hyphen b the source can be the google like which source are you coming from so I'll type fnh to see some of the optional arguments that you have. For example, as you can see, it gives us more information on what we need. But basically, we normally use this hyphen D for the domain. Then we have hyphen L for the limit. The default is 500. If you don't put any limit, the default is 500. Then we also have other usages like hyphen G. Uh, you have proxies right there. You can gather information from anywhere. You also have Shodan. You can query the Shodan. Shodan database. Then the source. We'll use the hyphen B. As you can see, you have many, you have several options. We have Baidu, Bing, we have all these. We, have, we also have LinkedIn, we have Google, DuckDuckGo, I can see it's there. We have many sources where we can gather our information from. You can scan any of the above to gather information. So the command is the harvester, then you'll enter the that d then the domain hold on hyphen d then here you enter the domain you want to search from or the domain you want to query for example here i'll search facebook.com then the limit i'll place 500 will be about good then you just query google I can see you have an error here. We have an error because 
I'm not connected to the internet. Let me correct that then we can go ahead. Let me connect. Ah, right now we are connected. So let me repeat. You can just scroll using the arrow key pointing up. Then as you can see now our target is Facebook. So you can just be searching the results. Start with 0, then 100, 200, 3, up to 500. Then after it's finished, our emails will re be returned. We have found one email from Facebook. And you also have hosts, several hosts, like for mobile, we have m.facebook.com. And for the desktop apps, we have www.facebook.com. These are our hosts from Facebook, and that is the email found in this site. Let's query another site. Let's query another site to see what we'll get. I'll use this common website, which allows us to test these tools. Hackthebox.com. And it's querying, it's searching for the emails. As you can see, we found some three emails from this site. And we also found hosts. Hosts. We found five hosts from this site. And that's good. As you can see, I've gathered some information today. And that is how this tool performs. If you found this interesting, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.